What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Kata Artist here, and welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and cue my intro. <laughs> W-I-G-N-E-E, Wigney. So, thank you for sponsoring today's video. But let me just show you what came inside of this box. So, first, there is a user's manual <laughs> for Wigney hair. So, it talks, It's first of all, it gives you a thanks for purchasing. And it says, Dear customer, thank you for purchasing our products. It is our luck to meet you in the vast sea of people. On the day you met, on the day you met, everything was so beautiful, and I sincerely hope that we can be good friends. Once you receive the item, please take a moment to read the following to quickly understand and and use our products. So of course they sell human hair wigs, synthetic hair wigs, and hair bundles. Um they sell Oh, this says product packaging and it lets you know about how the products were packaged and all of that it talks about the internal structure of the wig and i love the fact that it tells you the difference between the human hair and the synthetic wigs when it comes to the internal structure because there is a difference and then it says thank you again for choosing wig <laughs> That is so cute. It gives you instructions on the washing care of the wigs and washing care for hair bundles. Oh, wow. I'm not even gonna lie, I love wig companies that do stuff like this, especially for our people out there who are like me and install their own wigs. And all wigs are not the same. Like, I'm not gonna lie, some companies tell you the wig is this way and then when you receive the wig it's a totally different wig or nothing that you asked for but I'm just saying this helps a lot because not all wigs are the same so just knowing how to take care of it especially a synthetic wig my wig is on synthetic but I'm just saying especially a synthetic wig comes in handy big time so I got a user's manual um, I got a wig cap premium made in China. Okay, so this is the wig cap that they gave me. It's like netted. It reminds me of a sock, like you know those um, fishnet socks. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. But I'm not gonna use a bald cap today just because, I don't know, I'm giving my edges a little break. So, cause the ball, I love the bald cap method. I've really learned to, I don't wanna say perfect it because it's always something new you can learn to make something better. So I won't say I perfect it, but I've really learned a lot when it comes to making a bald cap look bald but I've just been giving my hair a little break so I really just been installing the wigs 
to my head, if that makes any sense. Sure, my mother wears. <laughs> Which is nothing wrong with that. It's just these aren't really my forte. I love dramatic lashes. lashes. So I'll be giving these to my mom. Shout out, then it came with a wig brush. Then it came with a wig brush. Like I always lose I always lose brushes and combs. And I'm just like, where was this? when I was trying to tame this beast on my head. <laughs> but yeah, it comes with the wig brush. It's colorful. And then it comes with this one roller rod and then it comes with this, whatever this is. Maybe it's a hair tie. I honestly do not know. And then the wig got. Let me just show y'all the ins and outs of this wig. So like I said, this is a closure wig. But first, this is what the wig looks like. Get into it. This is what the wig looks like. And it is a closure wig. This is the part. Comes with combs. Comes with four combs, two, one on the left side, one on the right side, one in the interior, and then one in the back. And then this is just what the inside looks like. I'm definitely going to be straightening this, of course. Do the hair with the flash on just so you can get a, a better look at it as well. But this is what the wig looks like. I will say, like off the bat, taking it out of the box, it is really, really soft. Like, as you can see, I can run my fingers through it. It's actually like cold. And it doesn't smell too bad. It actually smells like, like, I wanna say like conditioner, like a brand of conditioner. That's what it smells like. But overall, this is a really nice wig. All of the details for this wig will be in the description box below. You know, of course, I tell you guys, don't take my word for it to check it out for yourself. But we're going to go ahead and get into this installment video. What, what Denzel Dion said, he said, show we darling. <laughs> like I said, when I said I wasn't going to use a wig cap. So I, you can say I like glue the wig onto, you know, my head. Of course, I still swoop my edges back and everything just to kind of protect them. I just don't do the full bald cap method because I want to let my hair and stuff breathe. Um, and just like the one I have on now, this is going to be so weird even though you're going to see me without this wig on anyway. But I wanted to show you guys that this wig is like not really glued down. It's just, it's just there really. So like... <laughs> It's just sitting there <laughs> pretty much so it's like secure enough to you know get through the day or whatever it's secure enough for me so let's just go ahead and take this off ah, <laughs> so took off this wig I honestly love this wig so much I'm gonna put this wig back on and try to do some other stuff with this wig. I just wanna, this wig is actually synthetic too because I know that you're gonna ask about this wig. So this wig is actually synthetic and I got this from a hair store near me. <laughs> I'm ready to see if I could do this whole wig and stall standing up. My own two feet, I'm gonna see if I can do it standing up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see if I can do it standing up. First, I wanna, um oil my hair i do want to show y'all my hair like in this picture right here my hair was fiery red and this was in december now my color on my edges is starting to fade a little bit and then my new growth this is why i don't never <laughs> fully dye my entire head because of my new growth like i feel like my hair grows so fast 
I don't even have the time to really enjoy the color and I absolutely hate it. But first, I'm going to oil my hair and let me show you what I oil my hair with. So I use these two things to oil my hair. I use this wild growth hair oil in the white bottle. I usually do the yellow bottle when I have like box braids or um, goddess locks or anything like any type of braids like that that I'm wearing out. I use the yellow bottle of this, but this is what I use before I put on my wigs. And then we also have these kaleidoscope miracle drops that I also put. Is it coming up? That I also put in my hair. So I usually do the drops first because you're not supposed to use like so much of it. So I just drop enough of it. Just on my scalp. And I can honestly say this works for me. That's why my hair has been growing at a fast pace. And I honestly wanted to keep growing because I want to do a, um, I want to cut off my, and then I just like rub it in. But back to what I was saying, I also wanted, I wanted to keep growing because as you can see in that picture, and I'll also include a little clip of my straight ends of my curls. I want to cut them off, but I want my hair to be at a certain length when I cut those straight pieces off. So that's why I'm just waiting a little bit to cut those off. So I have that in my hair and then that's when I go in with the wild growth hair oil. And I just put that everywhere on my scalp as well. And I honestly will say, don't be afraid to use enough oil because baby, my hair be itching <laughs> underneath my wigs. And I just go ahead and just massage that in just to stimulate it, if that makes sense. If your fingers don't look like this, then you're doing something wrong. <laughs> so I'm done with oiling. So then next, I get into just laying my edges back. And of course, my got to be glue. I'm getting all of my money's worth out of this tube okay that's why it looks like this but we're gonna take this and we're just gonna slick our edges back and blow dry then we'll come back for my next step <laughs> inspector Top of my head. 
So next what I'm going to do is I just take a little bit of this um HD flawless foundation. It's um like second skin. That's what it says on here. I have this um in the color chestnut and I'm just going to dab some lightly just on the inside of this really quickly. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like afterwards. And for all of you wondering how I use foundation and it doesn't, I want to say, look tacky on the lace, this is what I do. So I take the foundation and I just squeeze a little on my hand like that. And then I just rub it in with the other finger so it looks like that. And then this is also what I'm going to be using to lay the closure down but I use this uh wonder lace bond adhesive spray and I just spray it from a little ways onto the foundation and then I take my blow dryer and I just it's on low and I just go over my hand a little bit And no, this does not hurt me. <laughs> but it'll look like this. And then I just take my brush. And I just mix it. Oh, still had the blow dryer on. And I just mix it here on my hand. And then I go to the lace. And it come out just as it would if you were bleaching the knots which i have not learned to do which i really want to learn to do but it comes out just as if you were bleaching the knots or if you were using the um what is that spray called that's the skin color to tint the lace the lace tinting spray it would come out just as it would if you were doing that So now it's starting to have, you know, some color. <laughs> That's close enough to my skin, I think. What y'all think? Oh, look at that. Okay, giving very much blended enough because it's still a lace, it's not real hair, but oh yeah, that'll do. always love black hair or myself but you can't outdo the doer <laughs> like I love black hair on myself but I will say that I love colors as well like I'm really starting to get into colors so, and then like I said, this is not going to have any edges. I want this to be as natural as it possibly can be. Okay, I'm going to tighten the straps in the back. Then we can get into fully putting it on. <laughs> get it on my feet because I honestly need to buy a new, more appealing table. To, you know sit and do my installs at you know <laughs> but we are almost there i am literally doing this on my feet with just a chair like <laughs> they ain't out here doing it like me 
<laughs> but we are almost there. So now I am going to show y'all where how many times I spray this adhesive. This Wonder Lace Bone Adhesive, it says Extra Firm Hold Supreme. I heard the black spray and the red spray are the best ones. So, so I'm just going to pull this back. And then I'm going to, I sprayed three layers of this. So like the first layer, blow dry. Second layer, blow dry. Third layer, blow dry. Y'all know. Oh, I need a um, I need a comb. <laughs> okay. And yes, you guys, I am using my front camera. <laughs> I honestly want to buy a camera camera for my YouTube videos because I feel like. The quality is so much better. Not that my quality on my phone is not really good quality because I have the um the 13. Um I was ready to say the big one. <laughs> Just know I have the 13, what is it, Pro Max or whatever. So my quality is good quality. I'm not saying that it's not good quality, it's just that. I would rather have the camera. Before anybody says something, no, this does not pull out my hair or my edges or anything like that. That's why I'm perfectly fine without using a bald cap because, like I said, my lace wigs and my closures and stuff, they are laid down but to a certain extent. So it's not like stuck stuck, but it's stuck enough for me. So... Pretty sure that is enough glue <laughs> so we're going to just bring it back up front here is that in the middle yeah okay i was like i hope that's already in the middle So then I just place it where it needs to be placed, there on my head, and I just like run the comb across and then I blow dry it again.
this and I also use elastic bands. I just don't know where my elastic band is at the moment. So I'm just going to use this skinny thing here to just lay this down. and then more blow drying. <laughs> so I can flatten the top and just go over where the closure is at a little bit. Then I will be straightening it and then I will be finished. Finito. I don't know if that is a word, but I will be <laughs> officially finished. I really have to get used to wearing black hair again like I wear black hair a lot but lately I've been trying to go for a certain color or colors but you know this is actually the door like the color black like you can't outdo the door so I was mistaken earlier like I love me some colors but you can never go wrong with black like you can't outdo the door so the girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. My hot comb is hot enough. So I just want to go over this part right here. have this so I can just cut off this closure here. Now it's just time to cut this and then I will be all good to go. I'm cutting this off camera by the way. <laughs> okay y'all so I have some hair sticking up. I have to find my um wax stick or some mousse or something but I have the wig on and get into it like just get into it i definitely still have to straighten it and everything like that but this hair is so so soft that's why i have some like flyaways this hair is like too soft <laughs> it's like really really soft. but i mean like look at it you can tell like it is really good quality hair so definitely go check them out with me hair They are doing the daggone thing, okay? They are doing the daggone thing. I really, really like this. And I'm not really a big fan of, like, closures. Because I would prefer to have the whole, like, thing or the whole, like, the whole frontal or the 360 frontal. But, honey, I love this. Like, I love this. All of 
you know, everything will be in the description box below. Y'all already know how I do. Definitely, definitely, definitely check them out. Like, y'all know kind of artists would never, ever, maybe once, but never stir you in the wrong direction. Okay, but let me know what y'all think. Like, how did I do? Like, I got to show it to y'all straight end or anything. But, you know, let your girl know how she did or what she could do to make the install more flawless than it already is, if I do say so myself. Yeah. <laughs>